All right, I thought I'd post a video of a project that I'm doing right now in Golden, Colorado. This is a job that uh, was built originally back in 1971, and we are now going to butter over this with a reinforcing coat, and we're going to put rock panels over all of the existing rock to give it a better a new look. All right, just to give you a perspective of size, the yellow box that I've just drawn is basically 70 feet long, the height of it's about six and a half to eight on average, and it's about six foot deep. It's a tunnel made with a rebar cage uh, covered with expanded mesh and then mudded with a mortar mix. No fiber, no glue. It's just old. As I said, this was built in 1971, so I don't think they really had those kinds of additives back then readily available to the common people who were doing this sort of stuff. But this is a very poorly made rock water feature but yet it's held up uh, amazingly that all these years that it's still together and not collapsed is amazing. What we're doing to this feature to give it strength is we're going over it with about two inches of a, a mortar mix that's got fiber reinforced glue additive and we're putting in a stow mesh yellow stow mesh that's going to reinforce this thing once we have it all reinforced then we're going to go ahead and panel rock panels over the top of it making it look like rock and that's what we're doing just kind of showing you a quick overview in the video the next video i put out is going to give you a little more slowed down kind of here's how we mud a rock type of a video right now i'm just kind of giving an overview okay this rock right here is like a 3d rock i mean it comes out it's like a boulder it's still attached to the to the with a fracture right here and a fracture on that back outside so we have a lot of fractures horizontal and vertical and right now all the panels are not installed we're just like i say in here we're going to seam this one from behind we're going to get behind and seam that whole seam seam this whole seam seam this seam that seam where it goes to the wall here and where it goes to the wall here then we can put a, a couple of panels for a top um, same with that rock over there this is a big rock that pops out from the bank some of these that are real flat they're not that's that's ground zero that's the most i can go in and i don't i don't have an ability to go any further in so that's ground zero some of these panels are just that, like this one is, and it pops out a little bit. So we've got, instead of just plywooding the wall, like with this one panel, I could have just sheeted this wall and had no relief, no fracture, and that's not what I want. I want pop out, I want fracture, horizontal and vertical. And by the time you, you get to, to looking at this after it's done, I think you'll appreciate it. Yeah, it's like, it's like a fracture. So you see a lot of these are screwed with plastic molly anchors to the wall with wire holding them. It's just, we need to hold them in place long enough to be able to mud them. Once we mud them, they ain't going nowhere. So, in these bigger rocks, we're actually gonna pour concrete as a foundation. So in the bottom of this thing, we're gonna put concrete about six inches and then it comes up on the side, it comes up on the wall. So it makes like a little foundation for that pop out. And that rock over there is the same way. It needs a foundation. Anytime we leave this, this structure back here, we're, we need concrete underneath it. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, we're gonna start mudding here in a minute. I just washed it all down and the guys are down there mixing some mud. Okay, so yesterday we mudded that seam for this panel touching the wall. We mudded the seam where the two panels come together and then we mudded where the bottom panel touches the wall. So this is now, uh, the wire is no longer holding. It was just a temporary hold. And the wire, we never get any benefit from it. We're mudding, seaming with the fiber mud that we made the panels with. So yesterday, we did a little bit of mudding here. Uh, we got this, this, this rock right here seamed at the different places that it needed it. Again, got some mud behind this. Okay, right here, we're gonna, we're gonna put panels to finish this rock off on both sides. This is gonna get a top. This is gonna get a top. Okay, so we're gonna be making a big kind of a triangular rock right here. We're gonna be putting this top rock on, that top rock, the sides. We're gonna be finishing right now this. The, we mudded the ledges and we're gonna texture those. And then here we've mudded the rocks all the way down to there. And this is that form that I had yesterday. 
that I took the, the paper uh, bags and I stuck it underneath the plastic so it would have a little more undulation. But this is the rock. And tomorrow, today or tomorrow, we're going to make this one to where the whole rock pops out. And you'll see that as we go. But we're going to start cutting some more panels here. Okay, so we hung some panels and seamed them and then let them dry. So the next day, this is what you're going to see. We took down the tarp to get a little better sunlight on it. But majority, 99% of the panels have been mudded now up to where that triangular rock is that he's standing by that still needs a face and then from beyond there we still just have the drawings on the wall but you know again forgive this video this job was really hot and hard to shoot because of the elevation change and i was training a bunch of guys so i really didn't take the time to show you how to do individual rock making which i'm going to do on this next video i'm going back here next week doing some more rock laying here and uh We'll get you a little better video on the next one as far as seaming, cutting and seaming the panels together. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun to do, and it can be very profitable. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the uh, comment section there. If you liked what you saw, give me a, a thumbs up and subscribe and like and share my videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.